do this review for a while, and I've just been so busy with life, I haven't had a chance to. So, today, I'm going to show you the Lito Kala Tubay 18650 battery charger, which is right here. Nice little unit, has a nice little display I'll show you in a second. Comes with the unit itself, AC plug, DC plug for when you're on the go, and a little Chinglish manual. So, let me set it up, do a quick review of it, and then I got a quick time lapse for you as well. On the unit itself, like I said before, you have two banks, you have a display for each side, and a mode button for each side. And on the side, you have your DC 12 volt input, and on the back, you have a little bit of specifications. And of course, made in China. So, let's use the AC adapter and plug it on in. You can see it's the backlit screen. Test the screen real quick, and then both of them say null because there's no batteries in it. Today we're going to play with an EFEST 2500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. So, let's see how good it works and how well it charges. You plug it in, it'll mean it checks the resistance on the battery, then it asks you, do you want to charge a 500 milliamp hours or a thousand? You can switch back and forth with about a five second delay before it starts. If you hold down the button, it'll go discharge, and then do you want to discharge at 1000 milliamps or 500? This will tell you your battery capacity in milliamp hours. What it does, it will charge the battery all the way up to 4.2, to see the screen goes off. This way the battery is full and then it will start its discharge down to 2.8 volts. While it's discharging it will show you a screen of how many milliamp hours it is consuming as it goes down. So it gets a good idea of how much power this battery can store. And then it recharges the battery back up so you have a full charge battery. So it takes a few hours to paint upon if you're doing a half an amp or one amp discharge but it will give you a good indication of how good this battery is. Like this one's brand new. I'm going to do the time lapse on this in a few seconds and show you exactly how much capacity it has, if it has anywhere near the 2500 or if it's um, kind of a cheap battery. So here comes the time lapse. If you're not really interested in the time lapse, jump ahead in this uh, video about three minutes. Then I'll put you at the end and then you can listen to my boring voice some more.
So now you can tell from testing this battery, it is nowhere near 2500 milliamp hours. And I even tested it at 500 milliamp discharge. 1600 is a far cry from 2500. So that's a good reason why do you have this tester? It actually shows you, hey, do you got a good battery or not? Um, also, you can test old batteries that came out of like old laptop batteries because these are all 18650s inside of them. Here's three green ones that I put into a portable battery bank and I marked on them what capacity they have left. Nowhere near as much as the probably 2200 they originally had, but to use battery pack. And everything is used in 18650s now, so having a charger slash analyzer like this is good because you can use them in portable battery packs, vapors use it for their e-cigarettes, and even higher powered LED or flashlights even use 18650 batteries now. So that's my review. I personally like the product and uh, it's a great investment for someone who messes with 18650 batteries a lot.